Hello, I'm Yusini Severus. Welcome to La Connection, The Connection. United Way of Delaware works to improve the quality of life for all Delawareans, focusing on education, income, and health. I have here with us Jamie Boone and Wanda Lopez, who's going to tell us a little bit about this organization. Welcome to the show. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you for joining us. Well, well before we start, mm -hmm. I was uh, actually at the first ever Delaware Latino Summit, and I saw the both of you there. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about the summit, your involvement, and how United Way was there to uh, assist in the first summit for the Latinos. Well, um, I'd like to first congratulate the Delaware Hispanic Commission, and especially Javier Torijos, who is the chairperson, and he's done an amazing job uh, bringing together the community. It was a huge undertaking, and it, uh, almost a year went into planning it. Uh, they reached capacity. Uh, the, the space could only hold 300, and they, I think they really pushed that. Um, it was a great coming together of the community to talk about the issues that impact the Hispanic community, not just the concerns, but also the hopes and the dreams. And so so uh, we both were able to participate in the breakout sessions. I focused on the education, and uh, Jamie, I believe, was in the health, health, and, piece. health and social service piece. So, of so it. a robust conversation, and I'm, we all look forward to what will come out of that, which is the Delaware Hispanic Public Policy Agenda. And how uh, was this such a necessity type of summit that you feel we should have had in our community, in the Latino community? I think it's very important to have that summit. Um, just the fact that Latinos make up such a large part of our uh, school system and our community, vibrant uh, part of the community, all of the learnings that we have about them um, being entrepreneurs and adding to our workforce, it's just um, timely that the summit was able to happen at this time. And the energy that was in the room was fantastic. Our breakout group that Wanda mentioned, it was so nice to be in it because you heard all the perspectives from all walks of life, everyone coming together for common cause of how to make things better in the state for Latinos. Definitely. The one thing I liked about it too is you had people there, Latinos there from uh, Newcastle County, Kent, Sussex, all the different types of counties here throughout Delaware, they were there to represent. And they spoke about the different issues that were were basically uh, hurting them or challenging them within mm -hmm. their districts. Correct. And one thing I liked too was the uh, breakout sessions. Everyone mm -hmm. got to really ask their own questions and get some feedback. And then there was that uh, website that, that we were able to use yeah. that kind of maintained all the uh, information for the representatives and for the attendees. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> Technology was. Technology real time, it was real cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go ahead and transition over to United Way. Can you tell us a little bit about United Way of Delaware? Well, um, United Way of Delaware has various programs and one that I was going to share with you uh, was the Stand By Me Hispano program which you're going to hear from your guests a little later on, Mary Dupont and Duny Landa. Um, also the uh, Latinos Unidos is one of the affinity groups that was recently launched at United Way to try to engage more of the Hispanic community. So um, the, the goal there was to really start those conversations um, and uh, we were able to bring some folks together in the beginning of 2014 through a strategic mm -hmm. retreat, retreat. And we didn't have the fancy, uh, wonderful technology that the uh, commission had, but we did use that, that methodology and, and also uh, one of our uh, chairs is, uh, used a Six Sigma methodology to do the analysis and the prioritization. So what came of those robust conversations too, it was about 40 people who yeah. gave up a yeah. Saturday and um, was six main goals, and they were all education focused. And so the first one being um, increasing developmental milestones in school readiness, um, increasing uh, reading on grade level for the Latino students, all this relates to the Latino community, um, increasing uh, the transition to middle school successfully, increasing high school graduation and college and career readiness, um, and then increasing parent engagement, and then promoting diversity and inclusion. And I wanted to share with you, if I could, a little bit about uh, a pilot that the Latinos Unidos group is going to support. Uh, the uh, leadership team it consists of three industries, really, Anabel Pinero with DuPont, uh, Dr. Rosa Colón Colaco with Christiana Care and Tabitha Castro with the Castro Firm. So in January they're going to launch a pilot in, in a high school to do a kind of a career exploration into those three industries. Um, so law, health, and uh, science. So we're excited about that. Yes, and like the goal of this show, uh, we try to connect organizations with the Hispanic community, but Latino Unidos is really his, is connecting Hispanics to these type of resources. And I was uh, actually on your website, and I got to see the little video that was on there that really highlighted the uh, importance of that connecting the gap. Latinos Unidos is a group of professionals that come together, as the name says, Latinos Unidos United, to really understand who we are here in Delaware, how we can support each other.
were coming together to generally create a united voice. Not just a loud voice, but a voice with purpose, a voice that speaks for the people entirely. Right now, as the growing affinity group, we're just noticing a lot of gaps within the Hispanic population. And in Delaware especially, we need to do a better job in really linking Latinos to services, educating them where they can find those resources. Our goal is to create a medium where we can get information to the people so they can continue to advance. Why would a five-year-old need to call Delaware 211 on behalf of their parents? There is a huge need to empower the adults for English as a second language. United Way gets into the trenches. They make contact. United Way is giving us that venue, providing us with that link for Latinos in Delaware. Is this the reason why you feel United Way is reaching out to the Hispanic community and finding ways to connect them? I think so. Just piggybacking off what Wanda said, with the uh, heavy population of Latinos even in the school, so we're talking about that, that continuum of how we're going to prepare them to uh, graduate high school on time, but also be prepared to go into post-secondary education or into the workforce to take advantage of some of these jobs that employers are saying are available out there and they need students who are ready and, 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 p and people in the community who are ready to step into those roles. We have one of our newest initiatives, which is SPARC for short, but a success pathways and roads to careers. And it's preparing students to be able to leverage those student uh, success plans that they create in school to help them navigate uh, and, and uh, explore the many opportunities that are available uh, to them out there in the workforce and make some um, strategic decisions on their future of how they're going to get to those aspirations and goals that they have as a Latino um, community. Which is definitely needed now that these schools are being uh, really looked upon to increase the amount of students who are passing exams. Absolutely. And, and it's about the outcomes, about the impact that we're having and, and really you're talking about improving quality of life. That's when you start making a difference and moving the needle. And I wanted to add to that, which is as part of that connectivity, you know, it's getting those students to stay in Delaware and land a job with a, a Delaware company. So as one of the other Stand By Me initiatives is called the College Funding Project. And so in partnership with the Delaware Higher Education Office, what we're doing is working with the high schools and enhancing what they're doing to um, get these, these students ready and ap apply for college. More importantly is to sit and make a college funding plan to make sure that these families so are really yeah. ready and really know what they're getting themselves into. It's, yes, it's an investment, but it's an investment that, that the family needs to be uh, fully aware of as they approach it and understand all their options. There are wonderful options and, and too many of our young people think, well, I can't afford it. And that should never be the barrier uh, to right. a great education because that, of course, will be a great future for absolutely. them. Absolutely, absolutely. Y si puedes en español, puedes decir los detalles de este programa Latinos Unidos? Le quiero decir que estamos unidos en trabajar um, junto con la comunidad para apoyar, ayudar y elevar la comunidad hispana. Y la comunidad, si tiene preguntas, que por favor llamen al 211. Estamos esperando la llamada y yo le puedo decir acerca de programas, servicios y más detalles de los eh, in, uh, in, uh, initiatives, oh iniciativos. Así <laughs> mismo. Gracias. <laughs> It's wonderful to be able to share that with our Hispanic viewers who can only speak Spanish. I think this program is very beneficial, not only for the English speaking, but the Spanish speaking uh, residents here in Delaware. And in regards to that, I, I know that the United Way of Delaware is doing a great job reaching out uh, to the Latino community, but what are some of the other uh, programs that your organization offers? Mm -hmm. I think one, since we're on this theme of the youth, yes. um, and, and uh, we'll talk about generational differences and, and, and uh, diversity, we have a wealth of diversity community. One of our uh, other initiatives is around the life map and the I am 40 that we are um, making available to youth of all cultures um, Latinos specifically targeting as well how can we connect them to looking at what their journey has been mm -hmm. so we all have a story but we don't have to be prisoners of that past and the stories that we have to hold so how do we teach them how to look at those and, and use them as building blocks to their future understanding their past but more importantly how does it position them to be able to capitalize on their destiny 
And who can participate in these programs? Like, for example, Latinos Unidos, you might think, oh, maybe, okay, I'm a Latina, I want to go to <laughs> or attend some of these uh, programs. But you might have CEOs from organizations who want to hear about these challenges that Latinos face here in Delaware. So who can participate and how can they get involved? There's a couple of ways. We have just newly formed a Youth Service Advisory Council, um, which had their first meeting about a month ago. Around 30 or 40 youth came together with their parents and the individuals who just are concerned about them and their development came together to form this council to say how can we leverage our voice, roll up our sleeves, lend our muscle uh, to getting the youth voice out there and how can we help shape some of the, the initiatives and things not only going on within United Way, youth are bold. They want to go out there and they want their voice to be heard out in the community and so we through this Youth Service Advisory Council um, give them opportunities to go out into some of the workplace uh, campaigns and things that we do and actually have them stand up there and share their journey and not only that but how the resources that we're connecting them to have been able to help them in their um, in their progress to, to achieve their goals. Wonderful. As for Latinos Unidos really it's really about creating a network to share the information Absolutely. so we're working uh, to to united with all the Hispanic serving organizations obviously the Delaware Hispanic Commission and all the the other organizations that focus and target the Hispanic community so they can just email United Way and be added to our email distribution list mm -hmm. I really buy into the Delaware Hispanic uh, Commission's um, uh, theme which was connecting for a brighter future and that's what we're looking to do is connect people to resources programs and and you know continue to, to do that at we will all succeed. Uh, all Wonderful. Delawareans will succeed yes, in that way. <laughs> as it is in your mission. <laughs> and lastly, uh, what's the contact information for those who want to seek more more details of your programs? They can go to our um, website, uh, www.uwde.org, as unitedway.org. Um, and right there, get on there, navigate, see all the wonderful things that are uh, available to the community. And we want people to go there because there a lot of times people say there are gaps. Well, the first step starts in knowing what's available and how do you maximize that to really help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your time, Jamie Wand. I really appreciate you coming out today. Thank you. Hola, comunidad. More of La Conexión when we return. Stand By Me is a program that helps you with your finance. I was in a hole, I was in a dark cloud. I didn't want to associate with anyone. Family gatherings, friends gatherings, I couldn't be a part of it because I didn't have the finance for it. My credit was terrible. I was a person that used to take the bus, ask for rides, depend on others. In the past, I have been through counselors and put me worse in the hole. I need a money order of this, I need money order of that. And when I met my coach, in the beginning it was like another one. I'm not gonna believe in it. He told me it was free, I didn't have to give no money order. I was like, what, no money order, no money? You know, it wasn't all in one time, in one day, it was, you know, we took steps. This is somebody I could come to, my coach, a friend. Now I could say I could literally brief. I don't have all those phone calls at nine o'clock at night, you know, I owe this, I owe that. I'm really, really extremely happy now with Stand By Me. Stand By Me Ipano offers Delaware Latinos resources for their financial planning. I have here with me Mary Dupont and Dunyeski Landa. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's talk about the need of Stand By Me Bono, how it launched. Well, um, thank you for having us on the show. Really appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about it and to the community. Um, Stand By Me is a project that actually, uh, as a whole, launched about three and a half years ago. And it's a joint venture with the state and United Way of Delaware. And it's a priority of the governor to ensure that every Delawarean is able to increase their economic security. So that's what this is really all about. And the Hispanic community is very much um, a growing uh, population in Delaware, an important constituency for us. Um, we serve all Delawareans, and basically what we offer is personal financial coaching so that's somebody who you can sit down and talk to about anything that's on your mind as it relates to your money. 
So the things that we would like to imagine is on most people's minds is sending their kids to college, how to buy a home, how to save for the future. But the reality of what's on people's mind is more like, how do I improve my credit score? How do I pay mm -hmm. down debt? How do I meet my monthly bills? And then for the Hispanic community, what we found, especially for uh, the group that is not yet citizens in this country, um, how do you pay for a family in your own country plus support a household here? How do you split the cost between multiple households that are all living under one roof? How do you navigate the mainstream financial services? And how do you avoid, most of all, being a victim of a scam or an unscrupulous uh, business person or financial organization? that's t out there just ready to take advantage of um, so many people in the Hispanic community. So that's, those are the issues that we address. And Dooney is um, our coach for Newcastle County. And he'll tell you all about it. He's done an amazing job. People line up to meet with Dooney. And Dooney, do you find it in English también? Uh, y en español, los titales de este programa? Para, para los latinos aquí en Delaware? Uh, los detalles del programa básicamente son exactamente, bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque ya Mary explicó básicamente en todo <risa> en, en inglés, ¿verdad? Está bien uh, detallado. Uh, lo, los latinos lo que, lo que venimos a este país a progresar, a tener sueños americanos. ¿Cómo logramos tener estos sueños? Uh, aprendiendo inglés y después de esto, ¿cómo nos enfrentamos a la vida? Teniendo una buena economía. ¿Cómo tenemos una buena economía si no sabemos? Así que por eso se creó Stand By Me, para suplir las necesidades de del inmigrante hispano que viene a Delaware. Entonces, ¿cómo lo hacemos? Enseñándolos, enseñándolos cómo navegar por el sistema financiero, cómo llegar a cumplir sus metas, dónde invertir el dinero, cómo hacerlo bien y de una forma gratuita, confidencial y gratis. Así que, ¿esto qué más podemos pedirle a la vida? Nosotros tenemos el mejor servicio que podamos ofrecerle, eh, personalizado y confidencial. Al alcance de la mano, estamos todo el tiempo disponible para ellos. Tenemos también a uh, enseñanzas, talleres de enseñanza uh, para si usted quiere comprarse una nueva casa, para si usted quiere uh, uh, también enviar a los niños a la escuela, si usted quiere también uh, aprender sobre presupuestos, si usted quiere uh, también, o sea, son muchos los detalles que nosotros trabajamos en nuestros talleres de enseñanza o las uh, uh, sesiones educativas que nosotros ofrecemos cada mes en español e en inglés, en los dos idiomas, a través de todos los lugares que nosotros sabemos que está la comunidad hispana disponible para aprender sobre el sistema financiero. Y Duny, ¿cuáles son los beneficios para los inmigrantes y todos los latinos aquí en Delaware? Bueno, ellos tienen muchos beneficios, lo que pasa es que a veces ellos tienen miedo, porque como dijo Mary, ellos a veces no tienen una uh, residencia en este país o no tienen una ciudadanía y piensan que no tienen los mismos derechos que tienen las personas que tienen estas posibilidades en este país así que pero eso no es cierto ellos tienen tantos derechos como todos los seres humanos que viven en este país tienen los mismos sueños y eso le hace tener los mismos derechos así que nosotros trabajamos para ello a uh, derechos que ellos tienen ellos tienen derecho a tener sus cuentas de ahorro tienen derecho y tienen posibilidades que nosotros le ayudamos a esto Uh, de tener sus tarjetas de crédito, tienen también de tener su propiedad, o sea, su casa, de, de poder ir a la universidad, de poder uh, uh, tener cuentas de ahorro, de poder uh, uh, enviar a los niños a la escuela, de poder hacer negocios, eh, el negocio de sus sueños, de poder, uh, poder hacer sus pequeños sueños un, un realidad, un, un realidad del sueño americano, una realidad del sueño americano. That's wonderful, Duny. Sí. He was letting us know in Spanish the benefits of this program. I don't know, at the launch of this program, we actually had some clients there that yes. talked about their experience, but can you share with us, now that you're here, about the experience some of these clients uh, go through, especially uh, the ones who don't know how to navigate the system once they come from their countries? I think it's interesting when you look at, you know, the challenges that people face coming from other countries versus the challenges that Americans face. And believe it or not, much of it is the same. Because our financial system is so complicated and what we don't know what's going on in the background. 
and that's how every financial decision and every act that you take is somehow being recorded out there and it's making a statement about who you are and what your value is and how you should be judged by others and you know people coming from other countries of course they don't know that this is going on they're used to working in a cash economy here you know you have to have credit without credit you know you're not going to be able to ever buy anything of real value mm -hmm. So I think that you know, what we found across the board is that we try to help people to really wrap their arms around what's going on in the background, how do simple financial decisions impact your ability to function um, and your ability to achieve your financial goals. And so um, you know, we're very excited about Stand By Me Hispano. We have a partnership with the Latin American Community Center uh, here in Newcastle County. And then we also work with uh, La Esperanza in uh, Georgetown. And we partner with Telemon. We try to work with a lot of the organizations in Delaware who are serving the Hispanic community to get the word out there. And um, we have a partnership with the um, Delaware uh, Office of Adult Education okay. that offers all of the ESL programs. Mm -hmm. So they have agreed to integrate our workshops on financial literacy into the ESL curriculum. That's so wonderful. Dooney teaches these also. That's wonderful. Unfortunately, we're running out of time here, but can you let us know if there's a cost to participate in this program in, in both English and Spanish and where to go to find more information? Nuestros servicios son completamente confidencial, completamente gratis mm -hmm. y nosotros estamos disponibles a uh, todos lo, los días de la semana desde las 8 de la mañana hasta las 5 de la tarde sirviendo a la comunidad para que ellos aprendan, para que ellos puedan lograr sus sueños y para que ellos, ellos puedan lograr el verdadero sueño americano que nosotros queremos que todos tengan los mismos derechos y lo cumplan al, al mismo nivel. Gracias por esa información, Luni. Thank you so much, Mary, for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay tuned, we'll return after these short messages. Family support group turned out to be really a lifesaver for me. NAMI gave me knowledge to deal with the mental illness of my loved one. It's totally free. It costs nothing to attend. They get the tools, they find the help, and that's what a NAMI support group is. We are family. That's how I describe NAMI. We are family. To learn more about NAMI family support group and what's available in your community, visit nami.org FSG or call us at 1-800-950-NAMI. NAMI Delaware educates, advocates, and supports families and individuals who are dealing with mental illness. And currently, they're reaching out to the Latino community. And I have here with us Anna Ornelas, who's going to tell us about this organization and its initiative to really support the Hispanic community. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Well, let's start off with basically telling us who NAMI Delaware is. Well, NAMI Delaware, um, NAMI is our acronym. It's the National Alliance on Mental Illness of Delaware. Um, basically. It's what you said when we started. Um, we help families advocate. We help spread awareness. We help provide resources for the rest of the community um, for individuals living with mental illness and their families. We strongly believe that if one individual is diagnosed with a mental illness, it not only affects that one person, it affects an entire community. And I've had uh, Nami Delaron in the past, last year, and they had really talked about their their initiative to reach out to the Hispanic community. And now you're on board, so yes. how important, now that you're joined with NAMI Delaware, do you believe that this need is being reached to the Hispanic community? I think we're doing a really good job reaching out to the Hispanic community, mainly because it wasn't there before. Um, I'm mostly in the southern part of Delaware in both Sussex and Kent counties, and that was just a very high need area. Um, there were therapists in the area, but there were no resources, there was no nothing kind of spreading that awareness to them and I think so far people are kind of accepting and opening up to the program. And let's talk about your involvement. Uh, for those who are unaware, uh, Anna is a former Miss Delaware Latina yes. and I know part of your platform or you have some involvement within your family dealing with an individual with special needs so how does this really touch your heart and, and inspire you to work in this cause? Yes, um, my sister actually, she um, 
this whole working with NAMI and then having a family member dealing with these issues, it's been very inspiring to me because it's opened me up and it's helped me um, really sympathize and empathize with the community. I've been able to understand where they're coming from and understand their, um, you know, what they struggle with and what they want to know. I think it's very important for me in my position to be able to say, I know what you're feeling right now. Right. So what is NAMI doing now for the Latino community? Um, we're basically trying to do what we have in English. We're trying to spread it out in Spanish. Um, okay. We do a lot of outreach at different events. And most importantly, we actually started um, a Spanish language support group down in Georgetown. Oh, wonderful. And can you tell us a little bit about the support group? Yes, this support group is called Family to Family, um, Familia Familia. And it's for family members that have individuals um, that are diagnosed with a mental illness. Um, in our community, I know that sometimes diagnoses don't always happen, mm -hmm. but a lot of the people in our group either have those diagnoses, you know, with their family, or if not, they've suspected and they've been um, touched in a certain way with this illness. And how can one find more information if they wanted to join the uh, Familia Familia? They can find information on our website, namide.org or um, they can definitely just show up. We have our groups at Georgetown at Lared, and they start every second Thursday at five o'clock. Wonderful, and what are some of the signs? Like how can one tell that you know, they really have uh, a mental illness? I mean, because we have our own life stresses right. going on at work or at home. So uh, to be really diagnosed that you have a mental illness, how can one go about really seeking if, if they should? You know, I really think it has a lot to do with education. Um, we need to educate ourselves. If we suspect that something is going on that we can't really comprehend, especially within ourselves, I would say to seek a professional. Um, if we suspect that individuals in our family are acting different, there's something that's affecting them, I say the same thing, you know, talk to them, sit them down, try to find the resources and the help and you know, definitely go to a professional. Now, Anna, is there a cost for one to participate in these programs at NAMI Delaware? No, everything that we provide is absolutely free um, to anyone in the community. And why is it important to have these programs offered in Spanish as well? Like you mentioned now, you're going to have everything in Spanish, so why is it important to have that? It's important because we're all affected by mental illness. It doesn't matter our race or language or economic status, nothing matters because every single person can be affected in one way or another. ¿Y en español puede decir los titales de este programa de NAMI Delaware? Sí, claro que sí. NAMI Delaware somos un programa que quiere um, enseñarle más a la comunidad. Queremos tener más información para la comunidad para que ellos sepan más sobre la salud mental y para que se eduquen más sobre el tema. ¿Y por qué es importante para tener programas en español? Los programas son muy importantes porque cualquier persona puede ser, um, puede ser parte de, de, puede ser afectado este, por las enfermedades mentales. No importa si eres rico, si eres pobre, si hablas español, francés, inglés, lo que sea, cualquier persona puede ser afectado. ¿Y puedes hablar del de grupo Familia Familia? Sí, Familia Familia es un grupo para um, familiares o amigos de una persona que es diagnosticada con un problema de salud mental. Um, este grupo es gratis y es cada segundo jueves en la Red Health Center en Georgetown y empieza a las 5 de la tarde. Y para más información pueden ir a www.namide.org. ¿Y cuáles son los beneficios uh, de los grupos y programas uh, NAMI Delaware? Encontrar comunidad en, dentro de la comunidad porque no todos um, podemos abrir con otras personas que no conocemos. En esos grupos sabes que esas personas entienden lo que estás pasando en ese momento. Y si alguien quiere buscar más información, ¿qué necesitas hacer? Um, pueden ir a namide.org o pueden llamar a nuestra línea um, de ayuda, que es el 888-427-2643. Y esta línea, um, si quieren hablar con alguien en español, solamente les dicen que quieren hablar con Ana o español simplemente y me mandan la llamada a mí. Wonderful. And in English, can you also, uh, before we leave, let our viewers sure. know how they can reach you or reach the uh, company for more information? Sure. They can definitely reach us by our helpline, which is our resource line. It's 888-427-2643. And if you need to speak to anyone in Spanish for any reason, you can definitely just let them know that you want to speak to Anna or just Spanish. And then I know we didn't get to uh, touch on the grief awareness event, other things that are happening, but hopefully we can have you back on La Connection next year now that you're here and, and to really just speak about NAMIDA and what they're doing for the Latino community. Thank you very much. Thank you.
And on behalf of all of us here at WITN 22, I'm Yesenia Tavares. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.